Hey, I'm Joey. And I'm Dana. Welcome to Car Chats. Today, Joey and I are going to be talking about something you've probably all heard of, the gay agenda. As members of the LGBTQ community, I'm bi and Joey is lesbian, we thought it might be helpful to hear our insights in order to understand what the gay agenda is all about. A lot of people falsely believe that there's just one big gay agenda, but unfortunately, that's just not true or physically possible. Mm. Imagine millions of gay people trying to use the same gay agenda. That's just unrealistic. No. If you think about what that gay agenda would look like, the pages themselves would be miles long for everyone mm. to be able to utilize it. And it's just not practical. People would be flying in from all over the world to some sort of central location. No, there is no such thing as one big gay agenda. We even considered the option of a Google Calendar, but still millions of people using the same Google Calendar, even that kind of gay agenda wouldn't fly. So although there's not one collaborative gay agenda, we do both have our own gay agendas. So today I want to share with you a little bit about my gay agenda. This is my gay agenda. I personally prefer having a traditional handwritten agenda. Every morning I flip open my gay agenda and here's what it looks like. It tells me what I have going on each week and each day. So I have a visual reminder of what's ahead of me. I also like this traditional gay agenda because writing things down really helps me to remember them. Psychology even tells us that you remember better when you write things down. So if you're interested in having your own gay agenda, I would personally recommend a traditional handwritten agenda. Although I do see many of the benefits and values of the handwritten gay agenda, I actually prefer to use an electronic gay agenda. That works best for me. I actually use my Outlook calendar that's associated with my workplace, which may or may not be their favorite thing as I work for a Christian nonprofit. Mm. I'm not sure if they like me having my gay agenda on my work computer, but that is how I tend to operate best. So I love the Outlook calendar version of an agenda. I put all my appointments in there. You can color code them in beautiful rainbow colors, mm. and that helps me keep track of what may be specific types of work appointments versus personal appointments. Um, something else I love about the electronic calendar is that you can set reminders. So I could say, you know, 15 minutes before I have an event remind me or a day before. And that's really helpful for me. The one fault of the gay agenda that I use is that it's on my work computer and I do not check my work computer on the weekends. Therefore, I don't always remember what is coming up on Monday. We hope this sheds some light on what the gay agenda really is. We also just want to remind you that not every person has a gay agenda. Some people have straight agendas, and some gay people do not even have agendas. If you know a gay person who doesn't have an agenda, that might be a great Christmas gift idea. It could be the gift they never knew they needed. So the next time you hear someone talking about the gay agenda, we would highly recommend that you remind them that agendas are for everyone, gay or straight and that there is no such thing as the gay agenda. We all have our own agendas. And on that note, my gay agenda is telling me that we have an important event in 30 minutes, so. We better get going. We'll be back. <laughs>